The notation of a class is very important. The class is a template for all its objects. It is modeled as a rectangle which can be separated into different sections. Here we have the class course divided into three sections. Normally the class is a noun and the first letter is written in capital letter. It always consists of the class name in the top section or if there is only one section of course in this section. Then you can specify different attributes. The class course has the attributes name, semester and hours. Each attribute has a type. In our case the attribute name has the predefined type string. Semester type is a self-defined type of the attribute semester and float and is the type of the attribute hours. A class can provide different operations to display methods for doing something. In this class we define three different operations. Get credits, get lecture and get GPA. On the right hand side of each operation name you can see the type of the answer. When we instantiate the class course we can be sure that the objects provide the three attributes and the three operations. But how do I get a class from an object? A class is a building plan for a set of similar objects of a system. For example, we build a template for all objects which are persons. We define the class person with the attribute first name, last name and date of birth. Because each object of class person has these three identical characteristics. Of course, the current values for each attribute are not the same and this information gets lost in the class diagram. However, this way you gain a broader overview of the important aspects of the system structure. Each object of the class person is an instance of this class. Additionally, the class can display operations which show the behavior of a class. These operations are not shown in the object diagram.